Hi there guys and welcome to my 6 month update. Now I'm no longer in China anymore. I left China on Tuesday night at 7.35. The host dad got home around 5 and then we rushed to the airport and I literally had just enough time to get to the airport and check in and everything. They almost didn't allow me to go out of China because they looked at my visa and they asked me, can you speak some Chinese? Like, and I said, Yidian, and it's like, Ni na, um, Ni na de. And it's like, Di e ci, si yue si qi hao, like the second time, um, April 17th. And they were like, okay, April to May, one month, May to June, June to July. They're like, Okay, tidy and like so close. Because the f firstly I arrived China January 16th and then I left on April 15th and then I arrived back in China April 17th and then left July 16th. So it was just, you know, one day before my visa expired yesterday. So currently I'm in Taiwan, I left my host family and I felt sad leaving them. When we saying goodbye in the airport, I felt sad saying goodbye. Um, I was almost crying so I was just like quickly turn away, walk in, otherwise I'll probably be crying in front of them. They were so nice to me and just such a lovely family. Um, the host dad gave me some clothes from their company and I picked out two items that I really liked and then gave the rest back to him. He also gave me 2000 RMB, but I returned that because I was like, you already paid me my monthly wages, so I cannot accept more money morally. Um, I was like, morally, I cannot accept the money, so I have to give it back to you. So I returned that, then I gave them some gifts as well so with this host family the kids definitely I saw their English improved towards the end they're able to say sentences to me like am I help me and when we played hide and seek the first they're like hide and seek and then I try to teach especially the older one she was a bit better at putting together sentences so um, she would say like hide and seek and then I was like what do you want I want to play hide and seek and eventually she could say, I want to play hide and seek or I want hide and seek game. So after we were able to teach her to that and she was able to say, I want hide and seek game or I want to play hide and seek. And then I also taught her to say, Buyashawa, like, don't scare me. At first she said, don't scare me. But then after a while she learned to say, don't scare me. And I taught them to say, like, I need to do a wee wee, I need to do a poo poo, um, bottom, and really surprised she still remembered to say hair tie because when I first arrived she liked doing my hair so I was like, oh a hair tie, um, I'll go get a hair tie and eventually she learned how to say that and hairbrush and she could say things like um, go to the house. I tried to teach them words as I could but it just got difficult towards the end because they lost interest in learning and they treated me more like a sister rather than an au pair or like an English teacher so in the end I kind of just gave up teaching them and kind of just played with them on a daily basis and through playing sometimes they'll ask me how to say a word or I'll say something to them and Hopefully they just created that English environment for them and just have been exposed to having someone that spoke purely English to them. There was one stage however, um, they were playing with like the safe in the father's study and they made the alarm go off and I was like, oh, um, the police are coming, the policeman are coming and they didn't understand so the host girl asked me can you say in Chinese and I said to them Jing Ta I know I kind of broke the rule there but I thought if I don't say it to them in Chinese then they won't understand what I'm saying and maybe they can actually learn the word from it 
and the family were really grateful towards me like the Saturday or the Sunday we had wine and they're like oh thank you for these three months and the host mom was like da dian hua like call us and then the night before I left I had a, some more wine as well I got a bit tipsy maybe I drank slightly too much and then I had xiaolongxia which is my favorite like lobster little lobster we had that and we like toasted and the host dad said to the kids oh Emma's leaving you won't be able to play with her anymore and the older kid was so savage she was just like yeah but you already like hired another sister and then the host dad was like oh have some compassion or something like that and then what else did they say I was like oh Emma's leaving soon and then the older one was like yeah that's great then I can watch TV and then the family was like well you watch TV even when Emma's here anyway I was just like so savage and I had I just really I miss them still um, kids are kids you know even my host kid in Australia whenever her parents were around she's like I don't like Emma Emma's not my old pair don't sit here but when I wasn't around we played together and we had a great relationship but kids kids will be kids I mean what can you do and then yeah we went to a water park on Saturday together at um, Happy Valley the Maya water park and I had my phone in one of those like protective water thing pouches and I think water got into it and now it's completely kaput so I can't even access it anymore hoping that will revive itself so I want to oh and I had my farewell party one week before I left in the agency and we made masks like Peking opera masks not a lot of au pairs could come because they were traveling so it was only myself and another new au pair who had just came and then people from the agency and then later the bro pair came with his girlfriend but I was leaving then I got some flowers and that was like my last official day off in Shenzhen and now yeah six months is over it's been a roller coaster ride Hangzhou family I just felt harder to connect with them Shenzhen family felt a lot easier to connect with them felt comfortable from the first start and I was able to interact and play with the kids teach them a lot quicker than I did with the first host family um, now there might be a chance that I'm going back to China a lot sooner than I think uh, when I went to get my program subsidy and have my last Chinese lesson the day after my farewell party which was on the 9th of July and my farewell party was on the 10th LCC told me there's another family interested in me in Hangzhou um, they really want an Australian person because they've lived in Australia before and they feel that connection between like Australian people so they really want me to go back but I was like they said to her or oh, Emma's already going to Taiwan and then back to Australia and they said is there any opportunity I can just go like October, November, December and because I was like I told them oh I'm already going on the camp in January so that's something to consider because I would have to go back to Australia for my graduation in September then I have to repay for the visa um, the flight there my flight back home will be covered because I'll get 2,200 uh, programs and 300 program completion so I'll get that money back so it shouldn't be too much but it's just a lot to consider right now and I'm considering doing a video and talking to you about my whole experience with this agency but all my notes are on my other phone which broke last year I wrote like the whole process on the phone and then it broke because I smashed the screen in Melbourne and then other stuff are on my other phone which recently broke so I have to try and somehow get that thing off um, get all that information off if you know of a way to 
trying to get information off a broken phone please let me know in the comments below so yeah six months the first three months were really long and difficult the second three months were quicker and I towards the end I kind of felt like I kind of don't want to leave but I also want to leave because I feel that my time has come and I feel that maybe with this host family if they get a new sister in maybe they can help her help the kids a bit more because it's someone new and then they'll be interested in it again and um, yeah I just feel that my time was up for this journey in my life but I don't know the, the agency is kind of pushing me to talk to this other family in Hangzhou but I realize it's in the same community as my first host family in Hangzhou so that may be a bit awkward because it may bring back some bad memories for me but anyway guys thank you for watching and following my all pair journey I'll try and get you guys um, try and upload some more vlogs but currently my phone is broken as I said but I do have them backed up onto Google Photos fortunately so I should be able to use that and get you guys some vlogs out of my trips in Hangzhou and Shenzhen so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video it may be an all pair video who knows you may see a all pair round 2 update video so thanks for watching bye